Reports regarding child labor surface periodically. Children crawling in mines, faces ashen, bodies deformed. The agile fingers of famished infants waving soccer balls for their more privileged counterparts in the United States. Tiny figures huddled in sweatshops, toiling in unspeakable Dickensian conditions. It is all heartrending, and it gave rise to a veritable, not-so-cottage industry of activists, commentators, legal eagles, scholars, and opportunistically sympathetic politicians. But as the denizens of Thailand, Sub-Saharan Africa, Brazil or Morocco, and they will tell you how they regard this altruistic hyperactivity, namely with suspicion and resentment. Underneath the compelling arguments lurks an agenda of trade protectionism, they wholeheartedly believe. Stringent and expensive labor and, economic and environmental uh, provisions in international treaties may well be a ploy to fend off imports based on cheap labor and the competition that they wreak on well-ensconced domestic industries and their well-paid political stooges.